Welcome back to Studio 701. Some Hot Wheels will be taking over the Bismarck Event Center over the weekend. The El Zegel Duster's second annual car show will showcase area cars, vendors, and much more. So here with all the details is the car show chairman, Bob Simmers. Bob, welcome to Studio 701. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here, Bob. So this is the second year you're hosting this event. Before we get into what we're going to see, let's talk about the El Zegel Dusters. Okay. What, what can you tell us about your organization? Well, we're a member of, of uh, the uh, Shrine Temple out of Fargo. We're what's called a uniformed unit. We were formed in 1962 by a group of, uh, of car enthusiasts here in Bismarck whose mission was to preserve the automobile and its heritage. And so here we are today, you know. And you, you happen to be a huge car guy. I, I know Michael is too, mm -hmm. big car guy. So let's take a look at some of the pictures of the cars that you'll be seeing at this show. Oh, beautiful. I mean, let's just go through these and you just tell us about these, Bob. Well, these are pictures from last year's show. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a great, great uh, first showing, a lot of good cars, a, a lot of cars that you don't always see on the street, um, but every one of them was drivable and, uh, and of great interest to the, to the spectators. We had a great crowd last year and uh, we're looking for bigger and better things this year. And Bob, are all of these cars we're seeing here people who own them and they live here in North Dakota? Yes. We, we had a couple of cars from South Dakota. I've got a car or two coming up from South Dakota this year, but these are, are all cars, you know, most of these right in the area. You know, there's a few cars that, that come from Minot, Jamestown, mm -hmm. Devil's Lake. We've got a couple coming in from the Dickinson area, but, but a lot of the stuff comes right out of Bismarck here. I would think that because of North Dakota and its extreme weather, it may be a little harder to keep a car in beautiful condition as compared to, say, being in Phoenix or something. Is that right? Well, in Phoenix, you would drive it a lot more, so theoretically, you'd think that it's mm. easier to keep the car up here <laughs> because you don't put as much, you don't have it out as much, and you don't put as many miles on it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more seasonal here. And with the long winters, you have more time to, to tinker with them and shine them and and keep them in good shape, so good point. there are advantages. That was my non-car person question. I'm like, how do they get them so shiny? <laughs> <laughs> they look so beautiful. A lot of maintenance, a lot of upkeep a lot of, there. A lot of maintenance, yes, and things have changed so much in that Finnish industry the last you know, 10 or 15 years, you know, we've got new, you know, the industry has provided us with new polishes and, and you know, new chemicals to work, keep, the paints have gotten better, the finishes have gotten better, it's just, uh, a, a new era, another revolution. Now the car show is happening March 4th and 5th. Um, what can we see on both days? Walk us through what we'll see. Well, you, we have uh, about 60 cars registered and uh, we have a, a great uh, uh, group of vendors, industry and others, you know, um, coming to, sp uh, to spend the weekend with us. So. Um, one of the attractions that we also have this year that's new is we're going to have what's called valve cover races. Hmm. And if you're familiar with the, with the Pinewood Derby of the Boy Scouts have, well, this is a, this is a Pinewood Derby on steroids. Okay. <laughs> wow, so that you, sounds you fun. Make a, you make a race car out of a, out of a production valve cover, and we, we have a group coming over from Jamestown that has built a track. And, uh, and it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, a first-time a first event here in Bismarck for many years. They tell me that in the in the in the late seventies, early eighties that somebody tried to foster that here in the Bismarck area. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Is this race open to the public if somebody wanted to it get is. involved right now? Anybody it took me twenty minutes to build two of these valve cover racers. I don't know how fast they're going to be. <laughs> if they but, actually uh, operate. I'm, I'm sure my wife's is go <laughs> golf cover is going to be faster than mine. So. Yep, obviously. typically. Yeah. Okay, obviously. you're going to have to send us a video after that race because I want to see how that turned out. Um, anything else you want to let people know? Like, what is it like seeing people's faces react to seeing some of these vehicles? And why do you think they pull on the heartstrings so much? Well, it's, um, it's a passion. And people that come to the car shows, people that have the cars are passionate about the industry. People that have kids are interested in getting their, their kids interested in something. It's a good hobby. You know, like anything, like any hobby, it's discretionary. But 
you know, it's a way of providing some family entertainment, um, some bonding between, you know, the, the, in the family. You can start a car project, work on it together, bring the kids down to the show, get some ideas, go home. And one of the things we're promoting here is, is that we'd like to see cars come in that are project cars, works in progress, because, you know, that's the way this industry was really built. You know, there's a few people that go out and they'll, they can buy the car, but in the, in the, the bottom line is it brings families together, brings parents and, and kids together, and, it, and it's a hobby that's, that's lifelong. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing them. I'm definitely going to stop in, Bob. Good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it, the other thing about it is it's a fundraiser for our Shrine Hospital children. Mm -hmm. You know, we've done amazing things. We're going to have a guest there who was... Uh, who was at one year of age, she was a, a recipient of services from the Shrine Hospital. And, you know, it, there, there are just amazing stories like that all the time. And so that's what this money, we do these projects to raise money to support our, our charities. You know, not every dollar that we raise goes directly to the charity, but because we stay alive, then the charity stays alive. Yeah, oh, the Shrine Hospital does amazing things. So thank you so much for all that you do. And we want to see, I think Michael should enter that race. I want to see if he's going to win that because he's an old Pinewood Derby Boy yeah, Scout. We'll, we'll see if I can dust <laughs> off the, the skills here of fabrication. Take the, take the valve cover off of that Ferrari and... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. You got it. Thanks so much, Bob. The El Zagel Duster's second annual car show will take place March 4th through March 5th, and that's again at the Bismarck Event Center. For more information, head to lzagledusters.com. You can also register to win tickets from KX. Head over to kxnet.com, click on the Community tab, then click Contests and Promotions to register.